Sorry. Randy's our expert walkthrough camera guy. He's, he's freaking awesome. We're just proving and disproving everything we've learned on YouTube so far. Okay. <laughs> so are you sure hose? Oh, okay. Sure hose in there. That's all you're doing. This is just cat screws on So there. there's not a bumper on this thing? No. Wow. Yeah. Okay. So let me go back to the sewer hose for just a second. Yeah. I like that it's screws mm -hmm. as opposed to a pop thing. Is the hose in there? No, that's that one. It's that one was one. in there already. Yeah, it's in the front compartment already. With that hose there, can I put the adapters on there and put them in nice little clear 90 degree ends? Or do I have to buy a whole new like hose end system? Make that awesome looking. Because see, right now all you got is just the adapter. This is where it clips on to your camper. And yeah. That's the hose. That's all, that's all we give to people who give to everybody. Gotcha. That's all that's we That's the one of the adapters fit these. I don't. What was this dude? That's just your exit. There's no, oh, so there's not an end on this. No. You gotta put that and just stuff it in, right? Mm -hmm. Oh, so they went, they, yeah, they went low budget on these. Oh, yeah, we get that valve. We're only, right. only let water go one like, way. Why would you put a hose up your butt to take an enema? You're gonna put, I, I don't know, some people like them, what is it? Birdie and mom. Um, we're talking about, we're talking about enemas now yeah. with the trailer. How to give the trailer an enema. <laughs> okay. That's it, yeah. yeah. Now, when you use that, I will tell you this. When you turn your water on, don't forget about it. Because oh, yeah, because you'll, you'll fill up the... Fill you'll, up, fill up the yep, you'll fill up your tank. You'll where can up. I kind of know? Inside. I'll show you. And I'll, okay. show you. I'll show you that panel. Terrific. Thanks. So, um, usually when you're flushing this, I usually tell people to keep the black tank knife up open yes. all the time. And if you want to close it for a couple of seconds, you can. Close and pray. Yeah. But just don't forget about it. Right. Just Put the timer on your iPhone for yeah. one minute. One minute. Yeah. It's, I mean, because you've got a panel in there that tells you if it's a third, two thirds. Right. Stuff like that. Okay. Cool. So this is your awning. Okay. I'll have it all the way out just because it's Sure. Yeah. Now, when you put it all the way out, this is your adjustable arm. If you see over here, it tells you. So if you if, so if it's raining or something, or if you have a little bit of water, all you do is you can pull down on this. Like if your awning's out, right. this arm will be about right here. Right, then it'll, it'll be a, there's a pivot point? Is that yeah, that's what that pivot? is right there. It just it pivots from that side. Let me see if I can run out a little water so we can kind of... Not hitting the other camper. Yeah, right. It's all right. It's a used one. <laughs> Put a little bit of tilt, tilt onto it. So if you want water, you get it. You know, mm -hmm. I always tell people just for. I've told everybody this. If you know a big storm's coming, or if you know you're leaving, put it in. Yeah, put it in because you don't want to come back. And Even twigs and, and sticks and shit. Yeah. You don't want on there. Yeah, I mean, yeah, but yeah. And then when you get, and then when you get it, always make sure you put it back like just like you did to run it back in. So. Right. Because it won't. Because if you have it bent down, right. it won't. It won't be like straight okay. to the back. It feels more positive. No, just okay. Oh, okay. Got it. Okay. So you got the back of your fridge. It's just all it is maintenance. That's, that's, that's all this is. Okay. This unhooks. What, uh, what do I got going on over here? Oh, I probably just some you know, Oh, yeah. Maybe. Oh, you can separate it. Clean and go, maybe not. Get, didn't get it all for what not. Is this? It probably is a seal, probably. Yeah, okay. it'll come off. Yeah, it'll come right off. And then, you know. Now you just, didn't know, Rosie? That's cool. That it separates for the screen? Yeah. yeah no, I don't know screen. about that. Do yeah. that. Okay. Yeah. Now, with your door, now you see how close it is. So, if you have your door all the way open, yeah. just remember you gotta have a straight for your awning. Right. You go do that awning and the door's open. Yeah. Just, it, I mean, it'll just bump it, but you don't want to put, you know. Well, yeah, why start scratching? Yeah, yeah. why start scratching it? Got One of us will do that first. You'll, you'll do it a few times, yeah. then you'll be like, open the door. <laughs> yeah. So this is interesting. This is not the load-in stairs, love. This is the push-back stairs. Yeah, this is just the fold. I kind of like, as long as you don't... Oh, that's cool. Yeah, as long as you don't screw it up and leave it down, yeah, you're done good, push. but... Um, okay. All right. We had beautiful little stair carpet stickies you should put on there. All right. Okay. I just picked it up, and you can put it either way. You can put it against your door, because I usually do that. I'll have to give you one more little. One more little testing. Right, one more little protection as you go down the road. Yep. I like what you're like saying there. All right. So you got all your compartments. Or okay. your yep. tree, sorry. Yep. Okay. And then you get the fresh tank. See how it's got a third? Ah. Mm -hmm. Now you have. Go back to the hit battery again. Sorry. Okay, so there's your full. See, see there's. This side will tell you your tank. And then see how it says that low, like fair, a, good. It's charged. charged. Yeah. I gotta remember, so okay. that's your battery. Okay. Press tank, see how it's got a third in there? Yep. And then you got black one okay. and gray one. 
Now, nothing for gray two or black two. This is just the panel they put on from the factory. I see. They so, do it all the time like right. that. So, Buy one set of panels. Yeah, and, and that's it. You, uh, so you, gotcha. you only get so many tanks. Okay, gray one, so, black one. Yeah, that's, so that's all you got to do. So okay. if you're filling, using your black tank flush, and you come in here and you hit black <clears> one, <throat> it'll tell you yeah. how, how full it is. Okay, gotcha. So, okay. Your ceiling lights. <clears throat> All right. Porch light, which is your only light down here. Water pump. Now you can okay. run, you can run water. Now, do you just you shut you use that pump when you're using it? Turn mm -hmm. it off when you're not using it. I mean, it ain't gonna do nothing. You can leave. You can, or you can leave it on. on. Yeah. Whatever okay. you want to do is even. Especially if you're on shore power. Yes. Yeah, sir. Yeah. But I mean, it's not. Um, you're not gonna be. If you're on shore power, who cares? Yeah. If, if yeah. you're on battery, you're probably gonna want to be just turning shit off. You're yeah, not using. Yeah. That, if you're just on battery, yes. If you use something, you're not gonna. Be, you're only gonna use it like once. Right. Turn it off. Okay. So, gotcha. Okay. So I mean, water heater. Yep. Electric and gas. Okay. So in the electric, just make sure there's water in there, and that's all you do. Never turn that on without any water in there. When you're saying, uh, oh, this fridge you're talking about. No, this is your oh, water, water heater. heater. That, oh. That one, it's gas uh, and electric. Uh, water heater. Okay. Well, yes. This is water heater. Usually, like, if we, by the time we get done with this, you know, raw walk around, yeah. you probably have hot water. Okay. 10 to 12 minutes, you still have, you'll, you should have warm water. Gotcha. So, um, you can run both up at the same time. It just heats your water faster. That's right. It doesn't hurt nothing. Okay. You just, when you use your gas... And that was that was the furnace that was down there. No, that was the one back here. Remember how it had? Oh, that's the, so the yeah. hot thing. I was yeah. thinking. Okay, so on the propane, then is it like a pilot that's lighting that mm -hmm. thing? Then so when I hit that, it hits a pilot, and okay, much. Okay, and that's lovely it. enough is this unit has nothing to do with it. Mm -mm. Beautiful. Your ACs run mainly with them two knobs right there. You okay. don't have nothing else. You can turn. All you do is pretty much. Was there heat? Huh? There, there? there is heat right there, but it's not it's all with that. Okay, yeah, it's all with that. So right. I mean, you can. I mean, They're independent of each other, totally. Okay. okay. I mean, and then you can open these doors. So yeah. if, I mean, yeah, however, you want, however you want to do it. Okay. Yeah, that's all you pretty much do. Got it. So this is just for your awning. Retract and extend. Yeah. So you just hold it and it just runs it in. Sounds good. How often do these things get off track? Not very often. Good. Okay. As long as as long as you take care of it. As right. long as you don't let it get into a windstorm because if it starts getting into a windstorm and, and it starts getting right you, you, you like bend your arms from not putting it in or anything, right. then it might give you a little trouble. But a little if you tracking take, problems. Okay. But if you take care of it, you shouldn't okay. have any problems. So Sounds good. I mean you just pretty much retract it. I mean it's no speed demon, but nice and nice and slow. Negative right. and positive just because you're not thinking. Just so people do it. Sure, sure, sure. You have two 40 amp fuses right here. That's where you them, are, them are called reverse polarity fuses. Yeah. So if you accidentally do that and then you don't have nothing in your camper, go straight there. Okay. Because trust me, when I train people, they, Someone does they it. do somebody does it. They come up to me and they're right now, oh no power. And I said, You hook your battery up? And I said, He goes, Yeah. And I said, Did you hook it up right? He goes, Well, I touched uh, the wrong ones. I'm like, go change your 40 amp fuses. <laughs> Usually if you hook them up backwards, they spark. So I right. should give you an indication that <laughs> If and when I do some wiring or I just, or I hook a TV up in here and mm -hmm. things like that, um, is there some pretty good stuff inside of a, a manual to talk about what fuse is going to run off of or what power I'm going to yeah. use? Oh, oh yeah, you can see it's labeled right here. Okay. Like, you, know, you get your it's so, well labeled. Oh, yeah, so like there's your interior zone right. one, zone two. It's so, like accessories, furnace, kitchen slide, mm -hmm. and see so you don't have one, so because you, you don't have a slide. Right. So your awning, you know. Which kind of actually like, is so I don't maybe not because it's going to be. It's not gonna be a button on it then. That it might, it might be an open fuse to be able to wire something with. If you maybe, need to. Okay. yeah, maybe you could. I mean, you just have to check. I take a meter, and you can yeah. take, all you have to do is take it. Right. See if you got voids there or not. That's pretty much all I do. Groovy. Got it. Usually when people come to me, that's your fridge. Okay. You can go ahead and open it. I mean, it's on. It's cold in there. Ah, Freezer. These, these right here, though, you need to make it on blocks of pins. Mm -hmm. No. Or and this is and this is your temperature. So okay. It says cooler and hot, warmer. So oh, all, you, really? all you do is slide that up. Yeah, because it's got see this little wire right here. Yeah. It goes into that thing actually, and it's a ther it's like a thermostat. Oh, it, and I just pop it up. Oh, it's just gonna fall out. <laughs> if you open your fridge and it's not cooling, go to that right there. Because if mm. you're traveling stuff, you know, it yeah. kind of just slid out and just. I mean, that's all you got to pretty much. How did that work? Now, yeah. because it, because what it does is that thing is in here. So this plastic piece is telling, or these fridges are telling this plastic piece what the temperature is. That's weird. Yeah. Wow. It's like induction. Yeah, wow. but I mean, and if you wanted to, you could actually take that off and take some sealant and put it on there so it don't ever, you know. Just weird. Okay. Yeah. Freezer. 
I can adjust these, the boxes. Yeah. Alright. Freezer's probably nice and cool. Absolutely. Uh, it's on and off. Gas and gas electric. Okay, so that's gas and electric. However, I've got choices over there for gas and electric for something. For water heater. For water heater only. Okay. Yeah, so this, this, Here I gotta choose. Yeah, this one you can. Or it's got auto. It's got auto. So if I'm plugged into shore power, it's automatically gonna be on auto. Okay. If you if I go and plug your camper right now, it'll automatically switch right. over to gas. Since I have a water heater that can go gas, and I have a fridge that can go gas. Yeah, and you got this go gas. Go gas. Uh, but listen, the stove's too obvious. Yeah, the stove's too. Water heater in here, are they eating gas like hell? Or no, not pretty... unless you use them. Okay. The only the only thing that really, the fridge would probably, the fridge and the water heater would be the two main That's what I was asking, those two. Yeah, that yeah. one I know. Yeah, I'm... that one. And then your furnace too, but it depends on what you set the temperature at. Right. If you set the temperature not very high, you know, it, it won't use that much. Okay, and I got it. Obviously, I remember clear window, red empty, white's good, mm -hmm. right? Yeah, clear, yeah. And like I said, there's a little bit of water because you got a third of the tank. I just turned it on and get some airflow. Oh, okay, sounds good. Yeah, you see, like if you shut these. Yeah. It's directional. And then, yep, directional. Yeah. So then, yeah. And if you shut these, you have it straight down. Okay. Winning. Yep. Got it. I'm just trying. And you have vent vent lids and caps in there. That one's got a fan on it. Okay. And there's that little, that little black switch up there. Yeah. If you press it, it just turns that fan on. This or my dad a hundred years ago was I don't know why, but said there's always blue water inside his toilet at the camp at the RV. Yeah, because and, and the blue water it smell. It just keeps it keeps the smell down. Yeah. It, keeps, it helps break down all right. the, you know stuff in there. You can do it at your discretion, okay. however you want to do it. You can put tabs down in there. You can put that. You can dump that stuff. It's okay. called like I think. Clear or cure, I think we have it up there in the store. I can, okay, I can show you. But you can use your own description on that. However, if you camp every day, yeah, you might have to add a little bit more. Okay, you know, than if you go camping every other weekend. I mean, okay. it just depends. It's real close, we get yep. off. But if you push it towards you, it turns the furnace on. You hear a pilot nearly. Yep, and it'll light, and then you have your temperature underneath here. So the fact that it's gonna it's gonna light and have a pilot. That means that you're gonna to have to be hooked up the power first mm -hmm. before that's gonna do it, or it'll do a battery otherwise. Is no, it automatic it, or no? It will not do battery. You cannot run your furnace off your battery. Okay. You have to be hooked up to so shore power to do it. Okay. Yes. Okay. Yep. The only time you, if you're running off your battery, you know, you can run. You gotta eat that thing dead. Fast. Yeah, that's why I'd say if you wanna put a deep cycle, okay. then that. But the heat's coming from the propane, propane. though, isn't it? Yeah, but you need it. Don't it's got a 12 volt system, but you also need 110 too. Okay. So that's where you get your 110. If you had an inverter, right, you could do that where it pull 12 volt to turn it into one. Right. So. So otherwise, then if you're gonna be doing some winter camping, you're gonna and you're gonna have this. You probably have, you need a generator plugged in. Right, just in case power goes out. Mm -hmm. You go to winterize this. You want to bypass this. Right. You don't want antifreeze, so you can feel you already feel how hot it is. Because I mean, just having all oh, yeah, the yeah. time. Yeah. So. When you go to winterize it, <coughs> all you would do, take these valves and turn them down. What that does, it joins all your water lines, so everything's one now. Oh, okay. So when you turn these, when these are up like this, they separate them. So they, now, this is your hot side, this is your cold side. Right. So when you go to winterize it, and turn, them, them up. turn them down so it bypasses this because you don't want antifreeze going into that. Right. And you just regu you use regular RV antifreeze. Don't okay. Don't use the car antifreeze. I had okay. a guy the other day asked me about that. Where does it go in it? Where do you put the antifreeze in it? Your water pump right over there. Like oh, okay. Where your fresh tank is. Yeah. When you If you open that thing, you'll see your water pump right there. And it's already got a uh, winterizing hose and everything. So okay. all you got to do... Does it show that in a manual? Anyone at all? Or? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah. All right. That's good to know. But, yeah, yeah, I'd say leave it on screwed. Yeah, I'm going to leave it. Yeah, I don't it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I, mean, I wouldn't want to put a lot of shit in there, but you could put a little bit. Yeah, you could put a little bit in there. I just yeah, wouldn't. Just, you just got to remember, you got heat from the water here, so don't put nothing in there that... Yeah, I mean, right. Look up there, there's a green light on. Yes. Now, that is your antenna booster. What that is, is if you're trying to pick up channels off your antenna, yeah. that just kind of broadens it a little bit. Right. It kind of reaches out a little far. Right. Now, if you're camping in the woods with 90-foot trees next to you, right. you might not get any. Because I could just literally hook up a small TV quickly hook it up to that and I'm gonna get whatever UHF whatever, VHF yeah, whatever, right yeah whatever you can pick up with the antenna right yep. now if I hook up the the broadband thing and over there yeah because because it, what it need it, this needs a gateway too right yeah that runs off of that you have no up top you have a 360 degree that runs off of that right 
like that. Yeah. It kind of look, see how it's kind of sitting back on it? Yep. Pretty much latch it. So when you get latched like this, and if you want to see what it does without the bars, it's going to... Yeah, you're going to watch how low it's going to take this car. It'll give me an idea of what... All the weight on the trailer is yeah. pushing down on the car. Back up. Right. I'm going to pick up everything. Like okay. latch it. You don't have to hook the chain. You can do that all that last. Okay. But I'd hook it and pull it up as high as you can. Oh, oh really? Okay.